looking forward to that. Thank you. You know, there's been a lot of secrecy surrounding the Tesla plant in South Buffalo. Yeah, what goes on inside the building? How many people are actually working there? And what exactly are they making? Kind of the lack of transparency has been frustrating, I know, for a lot of people because remember, we as a state spent $750 million in taxpayer money to build that plant. And finally this week, you got some answers. We finally got some of our yeah. questions answered. I had a look inside the Tesla Gigafactory 2, as it's called, for the first time on Wednesday, but I'm not allowed to show it to you until this morning. That was one of the rules. Tesla was incredibly secretive with this tour. Our cameras were not allowed inside for the tour. The video that you're about to see is video that they provided to us, the stuff that they want you to see. Tesla officials answered some of my questions, but they would not go on camera. They did let me talk to two employees who they pre-screened first. Still, my time inside the Gigafactory 2 was very fascinating. Here's what I learned. This sprawling 1.2 million square foot factory in South Buffalo is the centerpiece of Governor Cuomo's Buffalo Billion. It was supposed to be a game changer in Western New York. Now this week, Tesla tells us it is on track with its hiring requirement. In fact, it said it's doing better than expected. Tesla says the state required it to have 500 people working in the factory by April of 2019. Tesla now says it has 800 workers there. Half of them work for Tesla and half Panasonic. This is the video that they provided. But what I saw inside was more robots and automated machines than actual people working in the factory. And still, there was vast amounts of empty, unused space. Tesla promises it'll be filling up that space soon. So what exactly are they manufacturing in there? Well, Tesla says since the end of 2017, they've strictly been making solar roof modules. Tesla glass panels with Panasonic solar cells sandwiched in between, essentially solar shingles. They tell me it's taken so long to ramp up production because they just wanted to get it right, that they look good, that they work efficiently, and that they protect the roof. So who's working there? Well, some are skilled tradespeople. Others have no degree or work experience. And when I asked, they estimated as many as 90% of the workers are from Western New York, two of whom they allowed to speak on camera. Alex Finnerty of Lockport, who's worked here seven months, and Corey Leone, an electrician who started working here after he was laid off from the Huntley plant in Dunkirk. That was old, archaic technology that is old and outdated. The future is what we're doing here, is in my opinion. It's amazing uh, how the product works. It's, it's definitely a great place to work. People are happy to be here. People are excited to grow with the company, and you don't always get that. Now, if you want to have your roof torn off and have one of these installed by Tesla, you can only buy one online or go to a Tesla store, and the closest is near New York City. And they wouldn't tell me how much an average roof costs. It depends on how big it is, the pitch of the roof, and how much solar power you want to get. And by the way, you would also probably need a battery backup if you want to get enough power to heat your home in a Buffalo winter. They say there's a ton of demand and there's a backlog of people waiting to get these roofs installed, but they wouldn't tell me if they've installed a single one here in Western New York. Okay, so Tesla says that it will continue to ramp up production even more in 2019, and they plan to hire more people as well. The officials I spoke with yesterday tell me that they do plan to hit their job creation numbers, of uh, their target number of 1,460, 1,460 jobs by 2020, and they still plan to bring 5,000 jobs to New York State within 10 years. That's all part of the lucrative contract they did mm -hmm. with New York State, right? It's funny when you hear Tesla, you think of the electric cars, you think of Elon Musk, and... Uh, you don't think of the what they're doing here in Buffalo. No. In fact, we asked and they said that Elon Musk has never even been to this facility mm. ever as CEO of Tesla. Still, they say that this is an important part of the company and they are committed to the Gigafactory 2 in yeah. South Buffalo and committed to their time here in Western New York. He's going to want to check it out. I just think it's fascinating. They have a good story to tell. They have more people working there than they thought they would and yet so secretive. It's kind of bizarre. It is bizarre. All right, let's check